Dear friends in Christ, we are on the 14th Sunday of the year. Looking through the readings of this day, we have a caring God who calls us to discipleship and to depend on Him alone on this journey of ours to Jesus. In the first reading of the day, Prophet Isaiah speaks about the love of the Lord for His chosen. Jerusalem is his beloved and like the love of a mother, the Lord loves and cares for his chosen. And we know we are his new Jerusalem. He cares for us eternally and personally. In the words of the prophet, he holds us dear under his wings and we have nothing to fear. In our fear of the past, of things to come, sickness or whatsoever, his personal care is an assurance calling from us a response of ultimate surrender in faith. May his infinite love affirm in us this deep faith on our God. The second reading of this Sunday is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Paul affirms to the believers that the mark of being a believer, a follower of Jesus, is not by external signs or attributes. For him, it is an internal disposition. Being a follower of Jesus is not something merely external. It is a call from within. Paul reminds us that we need to carry the mark of Christ's crucifixion and his glorification in every aspect of our life. And it is unto the name of Jesus that we live and give glory and never for our own. The Gospel of the day is from St. Luke. We have the commissioning of the 72 disciples. In Luke's Gospel, we have two occasions of sending out, one in chapter 9, where the twelve are sent, signifying to the twelve tribes of Israel, and in today's, from chapter 10, is where the seventy-two are sent, signifying to the Gentile world. The passage is about Jesus' instructions to them as they set out, and the review once the seventy-two return. The words of Christ have a deep calling on every disciple and more especially on us who are full-time his ministers. The Lord tells us to pray for laborers for his kingdom as the harvest is rich and large. Every call, every vocation as is visible from the Bible is an answer to the prayer of someone or a community. My call as God's priest is an answer by God to the plea of a community that awaits me. Every call is God's answer to someone's cry unto him. Hence, the focus of this journey and the mission is to God alone. The Lord tells us that nothing should be a distraction on the way to the mission. The cost of discipleship is a call for complete dependency on the Lord. The sojourn is to be without any bag and baggage. Sure enough, many of us fall short of this call. What is that I need to forgo so that I can give my full heart to my Lord? Peace is a divine gift that we are asked to proclaim and give as we go. Do I have that peace of God within me to give it to the ones I meet? Let my prayer be like Saint Francis. Make me a channel of your peace. Where the Lord assures us his presence and power with us over all evil, he does warn us of failure and rejection that might await us. If rejection is part of the package, then not everything will be success in the look of it. The Lord will work 
and bring to perfection even when and where we fail in the right way. As the disciples of Jesus on a mission, our joy is not only in the visible effects of change that happens due to us, but more for the treasures that we can store in heaven, which is our true home. And the Lord assures us that our names will be written up there. The Lord sends them two by two. I have always wondered why didn't he send them single, for that would have covered more places and people. I believe the element of companionship and communion is what makes the mission more a witness and effective. Hence, as ministers of Christ, the other plays an important role of giving, communion, correction and support. At the end of their mission, the 72 return to Jesus and brief him of their mission and the divine power they witnessed. While in our work for the Lord, the daily call is for this return and review before the Lord. To examine before the Lord whether we are working in his name or otherwise. If Christ's name is in our thoughts, words and actions, we will surely witness the powers of evil subject to us. But if it's for our own name and glory that we toil, then God's kingdom will take for sure a back seat. Let's look towards the Lord who calls us to discipleship and may his name alone be glorified. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mm -hmm.